This is how you can create an advanced command creator command using your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we go ahead and start off with the code, I would like to say that I have introduced a brand new server shop to the discord server. If you're interested in this, go ahead and join the server and view the server shop here. I'm going to be selling bot packages in here. So right now I have Monmail, but pretty soon I'm going to have an AI bot, a moderation bot, a game bot, and a bunch of other cool things. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and join the server and stay tuned. You can also get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel if you'd like to by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. So again, if you're interested, the links are in the description. So now we can actually go ahead and start here. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're actually going to go ahead and create a new folder outside of the SRC. And this is going to be called your cache. So this is going to be the cache where all of the files show up because in order to send a file, it has to be a file within your project. So we're actually going to be creating the code file for this and that code file will go into your cache so we can go ahead and go over to our commands and community and we can go ahead and create generate command.js and then in here we can get our slash command builder we're also going to get our embed builder and we can get our permissions bit field and then we can do equals and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package here then we can do const create builder equals require and we're going to go ahead and get discord command builder now this is a package created by one of my moderators here so thank you to jason for that after you go ahead and define that we can go ahead and do module.exports and we can go ahead and get our data just going to be our new slash command builder here we can start off by setting a name and this could be anything you want. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and do generate command. And then we can go ahead and set a description here and we can say generate code for a discord.js version 14 bot command. And then after we do that, all you have to do is add a comma. We can do async execute. We can go ahead and pass in our interaction and then we can open this up. Now, this is actually really, really easy. All you have to do is run the create builder function and then you can open this up. You're gonna get your interaction, which is going to be your interaction. And then all you have to do is get your path which for me is going to be the cache folder. So in order to get that cache folder, we're gonna do dot slash, we can get our cache, and then we can do another slash. So after you do that, we are actually done. Now, there is one thing that you could do. You could go ahead and catch an error, and we could go ahead and return await interaction dot to reply, and we could say content, there was an error while running this command or something like that. You could also go ahead and set informal to true on that, just so that if there is an error with this package, um, then we're going to catch that error. And we can also go ahead and add an async here so that we can use await within that message. All right, so after you create this really, really simple command, we can actually go ahead and turn the bot on and test this out. Just make sure you have your cache folder outside of the SRC and make sure this is the path you use within the function here. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. I'm going to go ahead and get my generate command command. Pretty ironic. Once we go ahead and send it here, we're going to get our details, our embeds, our content, and we can also set informal, and then we can go ahead and compile our command. So we're going to go ahead and start off by getting our details. This can just be test gen command, and we can go ahead and say generate a command test command, and then we can go ahead and submit that. So now we need to add content. So if we go ahead and add some content here, we can say this is a command. And then all we have to do is click finalize and compile. And there we go. Now we have our command right here. So if we actually go in and open this up, we have our command code using our test gen command, generate a command test command. And it's going to go ahead and say this is a command within the content. So this is all generated using the information we provided within the model. Now you could use the model button to set an embed. You could also use the model button to set it to informal. But the important thing that I want you to note is it actually goes ahead and creates a file within your cache folder. So as you can see, we have command and then we have my user ID and we have the command name. And this is the exact same code it actually went ahead and created. Now keep in mind this command is not going to be usable in your bot. So if I restarted this, this command would not exist. This is just a cache folder so that we can actually go ahead and send this as a file on Discord. Now, you could write a program to actually delete these after you go ahead and send the message. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them because it's pretty cool to see how they all can come in here. And it's kind of like a log to see who uses the commands. But if you wanted to, all you would have to do is just delete that file or, and then your folder would become empty and you wouldn't have used any storage within that bot folder. Um, but if you want to leave it, you can. If you want to delete it and make a deleting program, that's up to you. Um, it's all just customizable. So that's you can make an advanced command generator command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, 
just go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.